How do you fix an LG drive that's making noise is hands down one of the most common questions we get asked as appliance technicians. Well, in today's video, we're going to go over the four most common causes of this issue and exactly how to fix them. Also, stick around to the end of the video because we're going to show you the one thing that you need to buy today that's inexpensive, and it's also going to be the fastest way to fix your drive. Welcome back to the Appliance Dudes. If you guys are new here, my name is Peter, and on this channel, we help you save time and money by teaching you just how easy it is to repair your own appliances. Now, before jumping into the video, I just want to say that all the tools and parts mentioned in this video are going to be linked in the description below. So in the event that you do need to buy a new tool or buy a new part, feel free to check out those show notes. And with that being said, let's jump into the disassembly of the dryer. Like any good repair, the very first thing we want to do is unplug the dryer from the wall. With the dryer unplugged, we can go to the back of the dryer where we're going to remove three screws, which are here, here, and here. Now go to the back of the dryer and pull the lid towards you. You're gonna to have to wiggle it around a little bit here to find the proper spot, but once you get it, just lift it off and set it off to the side. With the top of the dryer removed, you're gonna to wanna to remove the two screws that bind the face plate of the dryer to the control panel. Using your fingers, gently remove the control panel from the face plate of the dryer and set it on top of the dryer. Next, you wanna go ahead and remove these four screws, which are here, here, here and here. The next thing you're going to want to do is remove the two screws from inside the dryer door, which are here and here. Gently push down on the top of the dryer door to detach it from the body of the dryer. Use your hands to gently remove the door switch from the front of the dryer. Okay, so now that we have the dryer door off, we're gonna to wanna to remove another four screws from the face plate of the dryer. You're gonna have two of them on the front, which are here and here, and then two of them on the back, which are tucked in these corners here and here. With the face plate removed, we wanna remove the four screws from the front bulkhead mounting bracket. Also, depending on your model, you may have another screw down near the blower housing. Using your fingers, gently disconnect the moisture sensor wire housing from the bulkhead of the dryer. Remove the bulkhead of the dryer by lifting it up and pulling it away from the dryer chassis. So we've officially arrived at our first and by far most common issue with a dryer that's making noise, which is the roller wheels. Now, if you look at this one here, it's pretty tight. The bearing is intact. However, this one has lost its bearing and has now become unstable. This is by far the most common repair you'll do on a dryer that's making noise. Now, the unfortunate thing about these roller wheels is that for how often they break, they are incredibly expensive. There are four of these wheels inside every single dryer, and unfortunately, nine out of every 10 times, there's more than one that needs to be replaced. For instance, take a look at appliancepartspros.com, which is one of America's biggest parts retailers for appliances. You need to spend $61.67 before taxes and shipping, not to mention that only comes with two of the roller wheels, nuts, and washers. Now, the good thing for you guys is you don't need to worry about that price because as promised, I'm going to show you a much more feasible solution and one where you get a lot more bank for your buck. In the description below this video, I have left a link to this Amazon page, which is an LG dryer drum roller kit. Now, opposed to Appliance Parts Pros, this kit comes with four dryer drum rollers, a pulley, the pulley spring, and the belt. The best part yet, it is only $34.99. Now, if you guys don't think that you're gonna need any of those additional accessories, let me assure you that as we progress through the video, you're gonna see why they are so important. So just trust me and let's continue with the video. So the second thing that could be causing noise is the blower housing. Just go ahead, put your fingers inside and give it a good turn. Make sure there's no cracks, nuts, or bolts inside the housing. Now it's time to remove the dryer belt from the pulley. What you want to do is take your hand and push the pulley all the way to the left and then slide the belt off the back. With the belt detached from the pulley, use your hand to lift on the belt and lift the drum out of the dryer chassis. As mentioned earlier, there are four drum roller wheels inside of every dryer. Here are the other two at the back and like you can see this one on the right here has seized. So be sure to check these out when you are testing your own dryer. Now the third thing we want to check is the dryer pulley and to do that we want to use our hands to turn the wheel. We just want to make sure that it's turning freely and not getting stuck and we also want to lift the arm up and down to make sure that is moving freely as well. In the event we have to remove the pulley assembly we can just remove this bolt right here and that will allow us to remove the entire pulley. 
Now while you're checking the pulley, you also want to check the rotor shaft of the motor. So go ahead and give that a good turn. All right, guys, those are the four most common causes of an LG dryer that's making noise. If you've checked out the dryer pulley, you've checked out the roller wheels, the fan assembly and the motor assembly and everything checks out okay. What I would be looking for is a loose change or things that could have gotten in the dryer from your clothing. Now, the next part of this video is going to be putting the dryer back together. So if you want to stick around for that, then that's awesome. If not, I really hope this video helped you guys out and we will see you in the next one. To start putting the dryer back together, make sure the rib side of the belt is facing against the drum. Make sure the belt lines up with the grooves of where the belt previously was. Now using the belt, lift the drum back into the dryer, making sure that the drum sits on top of the roller wheels. With the drum back in place, it's time to reattach the belt to the pulley. Pull the pulley to the left and then hook the dryer belt around the pulley. Push it more to the left and then hook the belt around the rotor shaft. Next, we're going to reinstall the dryer bulkhead mounting bracket by lifting up on the drum and making sure it sits on top of the dryer roller wheels. Make sure that the grooves on the dryer bulkhead mounting bracket fit inside of the slot on the chassis of the dryer. This process can be a little bit tedious, so just take your time with it and you'll eventually get it. Now reinstall the moisture sensor wire housing. Install the four screws into the bulkhead mounting bracket that you took out earlier in the video. Connect the drum light wire housing back to the bulkhead of the dryer. Now connect the control faceplate back to the chassis of the dryer, making sure that the grooves on the faceplate sit into the grooves on the chassis of the dryer. Using the four screws you removed earlier, screw the faceplate of the dryer back to the dryer chassis. Now take the front door of the dryer and attach it back to the dryer, making sure that the three grooves on the chassis of the dryer fit into the three grooves on the front panel. Take the light switch and attach it back to the front panel of the dryer. Using the other four screws you removed earlier, attach the front faceplate of the dryer back to the chassis of the dryer. Finish securing the front panel of the dryer by putting back in the two door screws you removed earlier. Use your hands to gently attach the control panel back to the faceplate of the dryer. Make sure you hear the control panel click back into the faceplate of the dryer. Now attach the control panel back to the faceplate of the dryer by using the two screws you removed earlier. Last but not least, take the lid of the dryer and reattach it to the chassis of the dryer. So let me know in the comments below if you guys feel like your own home technicians yet. After all, you just learned the four most common causes of an LG dryer that's making noise. Now that is all for today's video, but I just want to take a second and say thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new here, this channel is all about helping you save time and money by teaching you how easy it is to repair your own appliances. I hope this video helped you out and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.